Ryan was raised under the influence of the malevolent entity Diabolico, who filled his mind with poisonous lies about his father's rejection and favoritism towards Dana. Diabolico instructed Ryan to pilfer the cutting-edge titanium morpher from the aqua base and annihilate the Power Rangers, including his own sister Dana, using the formidable titanium power. His nefarious scheme nearly succeeded as he assumed the mantle of the titanium lightspeed ranger, but Miss Fairweather intervened by equipping the newly developed V-Lancers, which overwhelmed Ryan. Just as the Power Rangers were on the brink of obliterating Ryan, Captain Mitchell commanded them to cease their attack and summoned them back, divulging the chilling tale of what transpired after Ryan revealed the reason behind Mitchell's order to spare him. With fragments of his memories resurfacing, Ryan renounced Diabolico and joined forces with the Lightspeed Rangers. In retaliation, Diabolico marked his back with a serpent tattoo, designed to creep closer to Ryan's neck with each morph and ultimately claim his life. Eventually, Ryan succeeded in locating the original Cobra symbol and breaking the curse, granting him the freedom to transform at will. Subsequently, Ryan embarked on a quest to gather additional knowledge about the demons and strategies to vanquish them, leaving the team in possession of the Max Solar Zord to employ its supplementary firepower when needed. Eventually, he reunited with the team to apprise them of Queen Banshira's plot to resurrect the demons. Ryan later provided assistance to the Lightspeed Rangers in their final battle against Banshira, ensuring her ultimate defeat. Ryan is the inaugural sixth ranger to lack a corresponding Super Sentai counterpart. The emblem displayed on his helmet's forehead, along with the primary design of the titanium morpher, is directly inspired by the wing panels of the liner boy. The intention was to allocate its lightspeed rescue equivalent as Ryan's personal Zord, as the original Zord was controlled by an artificial intelligence. The titanium laser, Ryan's main weapon, also has no equivalent in Sentai, and like the titanium morpher, it was specially created for lightspeed rescue. The lightspeed rescue titanium ranger, upgraded in Super Megaforce, wore a Titanium Ranger helmet that was assembled incorrectly. Due to the absence of a Sentai counterpart, Ryan made only brief appearances in a limited number of episodes. Most of his scenes depicted him unmorphed, seeking ways to defeat the demons. Sabin also faced budget constraints, which prevented them from incorporating both Sentai footage of the main five Rangers and new footage of the six Rangers. Although there was no counterpart for the Titanium Ranger in GoGo 5 and, consequently, no appearance in Gokiger's Legend War, a new suit for the Titanium Ranger was designed for the Mega War and Super Mega Force, featuring the mouth plate outside the helmet. It has been confirmed that the Titanium Ranger, despite being exclusive to Power Rangers without a Sentai equivalent, will have a limited edition Titanium Ranger key. This key was exclusively available along with a shiny Jungle Fury Wolf Ranger key at the 2014 Power Morphicon promotional artwork of Ryan as the Titanium Ranger. Ryan is the first Ranger to be shown morphing while wearing his regular clothes in his initial morph. However, during the sequence, he is seen wearing his yet-to-be-acquired uniform, specifically his lightspeed jacket. In the episode, Truth Discovered, due to a filming error, Ryan was shown wearing his morpher when leaving Diabolico, despite having already discarded it in the previous scene. According to Rhett Fisher's Twitter statement, he did not reprise his role as Ryan in Super Megaforce due to budget cuts.